I just got home, sitting here, putting my hitch pins and my toe chains in my little tiny crack size bags. I feel like a drug dealer with my little tiny stuff and product in my little tiny crack bag. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna put a short pin and a long pin in each one of these little bags. And we've already put our little toe chains in each one of these little bags. So hopefully we won't lose them by putting them in the little bags. And uh, that'll help us, you know, maybe. It's about 10 of those. I think there's eight of those. So we got a little time off today because the weather is terrible. So, we painted an exhaust pipe, and we touched up another exhaust pipe, and we are working on a chrome stack for this little 560 here that is missing one that came in the mail last night. I still need to sit down with a rag and or a brush or something and go through all these and clean the dust off of them but we uh we're gonna put a little chrome stick we're gonna try out the chrome stick we had to get the uh file out and file the tip on that to get it to line up right now it's just balanced there we got our little chrome pin right here we ain't done no chrome stuff we tried a little chrome little chrome repair on the uh fenders on the uh, milk tanker there um, but uh, this is the first time we did a chrome stack hopefully it'll turn out at least terrible you know at least terrible we, we can live with terrible <laughs> so we're gonna keep on at it here so this morning Baylor jumped on Harvester's trailer and it snapped it right in half so we glued, we uh, super glued it back together. I don't believe it's gonna hold. So I need to find some way to do something under here to make it stronger so that it'll hold together. I have no idea how, how and what to do. But so far the super glue is gonna hold it together until we figure out something else to, to try to strengthen it up. So, Anybody got any ideas, let me know. I don't know how to do this stuff. I'm trying. I'm learning. Um, I need to figure out how to make front axles. Because I got way too many tractors with broken axles. So we just kind of, since this was the only set of front wheels we had, we kind of just popped that together. This one here has got a broken off front wheel. This one here is missing a tire. Where I get that from, I don't know. We uh, went through these boxes and sorted all the ones that we're selling and we're keeping and that we're using for display and we're selling and we're keeping. And, um, Painted on that there a little bit. Painted on a couple other tractors. Built another tractor today. Um, it's in a different box. So we've been busy all most all day um, doing stuff. Even if it doesn't amount to much, we've been busy doing it. But we need to figure out how to make front axles. That is an important item that I need to come up with. I have way too many tractors around here with broken front axles. And I'd love to be able to figure out how to make them whole again. Or, you know, I could probably super glue this to the front. But is it going to stay? Is it not going to stay? Then I got to paint it. Just, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to do stuff. So, we're doing it. Drilling out this 
Alice axle that broke off. Drill a hole through it and try to put some wheels on it. I'm going to end up drilling through the whole tractor probably. I know it's an Alice is supposed to have drop down boxes, but its wheel broke off and there's not much of a way to get a pin in there to put it back together so or to do something else with it. So we might end up popping the other side and just drilling the whole thing clean through. Putting a solid axle in it to fix it, to make it functional. Okay, the verdict then. We took a rivet pin and we cut it down to make an axle. We drilled through the drop box all the way into the rear end. And we super glued the axle in the hole. It will not spin. This one doesn't spin either, freely. I mean, it will, it will spin a little bit, but it is not gonna be a drivable tractor. But it'll be a good display toy. And for right now, without drilling clean through the tractor and having to do everything else, we can always drill the super, super glue out. We drilled it through there to hold the axle straight because we couldn't get it to hold straight with the wobble. So we had to join to the rear end and we super glued it. So <clears throat> hopefully it sits straight. Hopefully it sits straight and looks right. She's not pretty anyways, but we're learning how to do stuff. So there you go. It's a little bit crooked. Might be a little bit crooked. But you know what? Otherwise it was going in the trash. So I think it I think it'll work. For now. I also glued this front headlight sticker back together today on this Magnum MX200. It was coming off. It's not bad shape. It'd be a good toy. So we got some school buses. For a project we're going to take it apart well we taped the line off and we did some cutting here we are gonna to have to do a lot of trimming okay so we had to cut this down this piece was sticking up here mm -hmm. we had to cut that down and now we got to try to find something to make a floor out of for a ramp and a system and then we need to cut finish cutting the back off of this to reattach to the front up underneath up under the overhang and so we gotta come up with a floor ramp system emily says used balsa wood so we'll look into that we have some of that around here but uh, we're going to try to cut this down to get the back part out. This black stuff's very hard to cut through. The yellow is butter. So here you go. I still need to paint and glue. This is the way we've gone so far. We did glue the back of the bus to the underside, but we need to repaint 
and glue all this stuff together. The, uh, the bus only has one screw that holds the front together. The back is not held down. Right now the screw is not even in there. So we will have to put something to glue here maybe to make it rigid to keep it from falling apart. Because you wouldn't somebody would grab it up and rip it off and break the screw. But what do y'all think? Think it'll work? I do not have ramps on the back. Uh, I don't know how to make ramps at the moment, so we'll figure that out another day. So my bus is all painted and glued together. Um, doesn't look bad. Could I have done a better job? Maybe. I have two more buses to go. Make sure you come out to the show at Weir's Cave, Virginia this weekend. February the 25th. And check our stuff out.